my dad and John F. Kennedy were great friends. I, I met him. I, I, my dad sat on the plane for three or four hours with him one time and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so I, I kind of grew That was a Democrat. I grew up in that world. My dad was head of a big union for the whole state of Virginia. So I grew up in all that. Hello? And now you got a guy running who's a socialist. The people that are following that are ignorant. If you would just read what a socialist is, stop buying the Kool Aid. You got a current event that just took place down in the Caribbean. You got Cuba. Look at these wonderful. I've been to Cuba, preached. What a horrible place. I've lived in the Caribbean all over the place down there. I know that area. And tell me, I tell you, saints, I go there and look at Cuba and I go, how can this be? So you got somebody who's a socialist, communist. I've been in China. I've been in Russia. I was in Russia. I was in, I was behind the Berlin Wall when it was being taken down. Hello? I understand this. And then you got a guy who's going to have the first woman, but the first lady will be the first man. Hello? You say, oh, you've got homophobia. I got no phobias. I got no phobias. I'm just not going to buy into this thing defending the rights of speech. That's a lie. I'm defending the truth, not the right, right to speak. If you stood up in this room and yelled fire, I have some people in here that would take you out. I don't mean out the door. I'm talking about out of life. <laughs> Hello? They're here. Because you can't have the right to speech. It's the right of truth. And that's what they're afraid of. That's why they've outlawed Billy Graham, uh, Franklin Graham. He can't go into England anymore. Hello? They just stopped him. He cannot go. All the cities but two, the other two just voted. They've all voted, and it's the LBGQT78 that said they can't. Right. Hello? Are you hearing me? Yeah. And you say, well, you got homophobia. Look, there's people in this church that we've prayed with, prayed over, laid hands on. They got delivered from that. Yeah. How many of you know it's sin, saints? Yeah. You're not born that way. It's yeah. sin. God didn't make Adam and Steve. He made Adam and Eve. Come on. Stop playing the game. Stop trying to be politically correct. Stop going along with the routine. We've lost enough kids by lying to them. It's time we tell them the truth. Structure. That's the last one. So you got birth, empowered, commissioned, and Ephesians 4, 1 through 6 is what I've been reading to you. Go to verse 2 and verse 12. And then I am out of there, and I'm going to give you today, and we're done. You still with me? Yeah. Give me a couple more minutes. I'll do it. I'm going to push myself right here, yeah. and I'm going as fast as I can. Put the other thing on the board, Angela, the other little flyer you made up for me. Okay? I think you have it. Yes, ma'am. Hold it there. Now, <clears throat> if you look at, at verse uh, 2, okay, and, uh, and, and Ephesians, are you, are you there with me? Okay, I'm going to get it on, on, on here and look at it myself with you. Okay, Ephesians chapter 2, I mean chapter 4, I'm sorry, verse 2. Um, and it says, we living as becomes you, living as becomes you, you compl uh, with complete lowliness of mind, humility, and meekness, unselfishness, gentleness, mildness, with patience, bearing one another, and making allowances because you love one another. How many of you hear that? How many of you know we're prisoners of the Lord, Paul said? I, the prisoner of the Lord, appeal to you, beg to you, to walk and lead a life worthy of this thing called Christianity. Yeah. I'm tired of compromised half-baked. <clears throat> I came out of a world, <clears throat> crime, drugs, all that, that you had to carry and had to be the real deal. 
You know, everybody's worried about fake news. I'm worried about fake Christians. There's more of them. <clears throat> Say, Lord, Jesus, what kind of church is this? Uh, we just like beating on the devil. Hello? And I'm not trying to beat the hell out of him. I want to beat him till he knows where he's going. Come on, saints. Verse 12. <clears throat> here's this. Now, here's this part. This is how we built the structure out of a book of Ephesians. So this is the thing. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to come together and be the dwelling place of God. And then in verse 12, uh, it, it, we're supposed to keep the unity of the faith in verse 2. And verse 12 says, His intention was the perfecting and full equipping of the saints, his consecrated people, that they should do the work of ministry toward building up Christ's body, the church. Ecclesia. We're being equipped to be the ecclesia, the ruling party. How many of you know God said you're supposed to be the head, not the tail? Yeah. That's why we got politics. Christianity can't even have a functioning seat there. Hello? That's why you can't have this guy that, that these people that run for Supreme Court, if they mention that they happen to be saved or they love Jesus, they crucify him. <clears throat> Hello? Do you know London, UK, in 12 years, will have a population 60% to 40% that will be non-English people and they'll be from Muslim countries. They are on the verge of losing all of London and all the UK. Do you know South Africa is under siege? They're killing all the farmers. And they happen to be from the, the they're Afrikaans, and they happen to be the, the white farmers that have been trained and raised, and their parents were raised to farm. They're doing exactly what they did in Botswana. Botswana was the breadbasket for South Africa, where all of their stuff was there to give them crops and vegetables and food. And a group of people went in and said, y'all can't be the farmers anymore. We're going to run it. They're doing it. 4% of all is only left now of actually farmers in South Africa. They go in at night. They tie up the farmers, torch them, behead them, and rape their four, five, and six-year-old girls. And then what they're going to do is they find out, just like Botswana, they couldn't farm. So what they did was now Botswana has got to get everybody, all the other countries, to help supply them with food. South Africa, in less than seven years, will start saying it needs, uh, because of, of global warming, it needs food now from other countries. We're out of politics. We're out of finances. We're out of education. We're out of all the media, all the movie industry, and all that. We're all there's a great movie. There's a great uh, new app you can get called Chosen, and it has great uh, Christian based. The Gospels is in there right now. You can watch it. It's awesome, first class. But how do you know that the mainstay of the media is just absolutely as corrupt as it can be? Why? Because if you're a Christian, they're coming after you. Come on, saints. Because we were in here and we were told, stay in the church. Behave yourselves and stay in here. Hello? I was with Catherine Pugh in the back before she accepted her acceptance speech to be the mayor. And I told the elder was with me. When I looked at her and they asked me, would you pray? It was only me, the president of city council, and my elder. Would you lay hands on her and pray with her? When I looked in her eyes, I turned to him and said, there's trouble. That woman's in trouble. She has no clue what's going on. And I said, there's an attack. She'll never finish. 
Saints, listen to me. We need prophets today. We need men of, uh, and women of God that hear from God because the nation's in trouble. But we got to stop coming to church to get spiritual in here and not go out there and live it. Now, now I, I want to get you, I got to get off this. I got to go right to where we need to be. Uh, if, if you hear this, Ephesians 2, 19, 21 tells us that we're the dwelling place of God. And I talked to you the other day about there were five actual spirits. Here they are real quick, and that's where I'm going to end today. There are five demonic spirits that are operating in the world because we're still in Ephesians chapter 6, and we're talking about our warfare is not carnal. Hello? No. Have you know... What we're fighting, saints, Thursday night, we're really digging in this in depth. Yes. You ought to come. It'll help yeah. you. I explained the other night why God put man on the same planet that he put a fallen archangel named Lucifer. Yeah. Why did God throw out this archangel named Lucifer with one-third of all the angels and put him on the earth that was dark, void, without shape, was in a mess, and God said, ah, I'm going to make a man. Where am I going to make him? I could make him on Jupiter. I could make him on Mars. I could make him over here. I'm going to go to the earth. So God chose to create his man where he threw his devil. Why? Because the Lucifer was the covering cherub, Ezekiel, Isaiah says, that all worship flowed through him. He covered the throne of God. So he was the one that was supposed to all praise all the angels, all the planets, everything that offered praise to God was coming through him and came out of him. And his tablets, it says, were like pipe organs and all the glory came to God because of this archangel till pride was found in him. God took him and his cohorts and threw him out. God didn't throw the angels. Lucifer took the angels. He tricked one-third of them, threw them on the earth. But watch this. I told the church Thursday night, you got to come. You got to hear this. God put Adam on the earth so that Adam, out of a free will, could worship so that Lucifer, who used to be the worship leader, could say, Dad, going, how is that possible? He, 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 how is he? And God said, I want you to see this is what real worship is. This man that I created could say no, but he instead, out of a free will, says, Yes, I want to worship my God. And Lucifer, you had a chance, but you failed. And I made a man so that man could embarrass you, put his foot on top of your head, and show you that God still is. God. Thank you for watching Rock City Church Online. We pray this video sharpens and encourages you to be all that God has called you to be. You can give online at rockcitychurch.com or on the Rock City Church app. Like and share us on social media at RockCC Baltimore. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next episode or live stream.